There have been some important changes to the way you use your EpiPen. The injection hold time has been reduced from 10 seconds down to 3 seconds. The reduction in injection time is based on research confirming the safety and delivery of the full dose of adrenaline through a 3 second injection. This means that you now only need to hold your EpiPen in place for 3 seconds, making it quicker to administer in an emergency. Another important change is that you no longer need to massage the injection site. Simply hold your EpiPen in place for 3 seconds, remove the device and call 000 for an ambulance. Over the coming months, the new 3 second labelled EpiPen auto injectors will be coming into pharmacies and will gradually replace the 10 second labelled pens. It is really important to note that the EpiPen has not changed at all and you should still continue to use your existing 10 second labelled EpiPen. The changes relate to how long to hold the EpiPen in place. If you have an EpiPen with a 10 second label, you do not need to get it replaced. EpiPen auto injectors only need to be replaced if used or just before the expiry date. All EpiPen auto injectors should now be held in place for three seconds, regardless of the instructions on the label. If you do forget and hold your EpiPen for 10 seconds or massage the site, it won't affect the way the EpiPen works. Now that you've been prescribed an EpiPen, or you know someone who carries an EpiPen, it's important to know how to use it calmly in an emergency. If it is your EpiPen and you are well enough to administer it, you should use the EpiPen yourself. And if not, someone else should administer the EpiPen for you. EpiPen and EpiPen Junior work in exactly the same way. So you can watch this video whether you or the person you know carries an EpiPen or an EpiPen Junior. It's important to always carry the EpiPen auto injectors with you and to use at the first sign of a severe allergic reaction. Remember to carry two EpiPen auto injectors just in case additional adrenaline doses are required. The EpiPen is clearly color coded for easy identification and administration during an emergency. The safety release is blue and the needle shield is orange. An easy way to remember this is blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. Before using the EpiPen, you or the person having an anaphylactic reaction should lie on the ground. If breathing is difficult, you can sit on the ground, but you shouldn't stand or walk. To remove the EpiPen from the carry case, flip open the cap and slide the EpiPen out. Keep your fingers and thumb away from the orange shield as this contains the needle. With the orange shield facing down, pull off the blue safety release. Hold the legs still and place the orange shield end against the outer mid thigh, avoiding pockets and seams. When using EpiPen on a child, ensure that the child is held still to avoid needle stick injury. Push down hard until a click is heard or felt and hold the EpiPen in place for three seconds. The EpiPen can then be removed. You or someone with you should call 000 immediately after administering the EpiPen. You or the person who has had the anaphylactic reaction should stay lying down or seated on the ground. Make a note of the time the EpiPen was used. If there is no response after five minutes, use a second EpiPen if available. After administration, the viewing window turns black and the needle shield extends, so you will never see the needle. This indicates the EpiPen has been used. EpiPen auto-injectors contain a single pre-measured dose of adrenaline, so they can only be used once. After you have used your EpiPen, you will need to safely dispose of the used pen. It is best to hand it to the ambulance or hospital staff. Lastly, here are some ways you can be prepared in the event of a severe allergic reaction. Store the EpiPen or EpiPen Junior in the hard carry case to protect it from damage. The EpiPen has a viewing window, so you can make sure the solution is clear and colourless. You should check this regularly, and if it becomes dark, cloudy or has specks floating in it, replace your EpiPen as soon as possible. Check your EpiPen's expiry date, and sign up for the free EpiPen expiry reminders at epiclub.com.au. Make sure you have an ASCIA action plan, which is complete and signed by your doctor. You can download action plans from the ASCIA website. Practice regularly with your EpiPen training device to ensure you are prepared to administer your EpiPen in an emergency. For further information, please visit epiclub.com.au.